Hey everyone, um, what we're going to do today is a jig that is pretty new to me because I'm going to be working with a, a material I never used before. Um, in the vise we have a 1 8 ounce ball head jig with a 1 owner 5313 hook. Um, the jig color is black um, and the pattern we're going to do is uh, fire craw. That's what I call it. It's basically black and orange. But um, we're going to start with some 210 denier flat wax nylon thread in black. And uh, you'll notice that there was a barb that I actually snipped off of here because you're not going to need it. We're going to get our thread base started. And we're going to go down just a little bit above the point of the hook. We're going to work our thread back up again, back up onto the collar. Now, the material that we're going to use that's new is this. Uh, I was sniffing around Barlow's website. I had to get some uh, supplies, and I found these. Uh, this is the micro-sized uh, dragon tail, and... I've seen these before in the fly fishing world, but they were always really big. So uh, I seen that they had these uh, four inch micro ones. And uh, so I decided to order some and uh, I just got my stuff in and I'm going to tie a, uh, a jig that I've made before, but uh, there's going to be some different changes to it. So um, it's all going to be new. So let's get started with this. Um, Normally, I would put a, a rabbit tail, a rabbit zonker tail, but since I have this, I'm going to use this. And uh, about, you're going to want, say, um, an inch and three quarter to two inches maximum behind the, the hook uh, trailing. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to line it up here and I'm actually going to snip off the end of it. I should say that I, I messed with this for a little bit before I decided to make a video. Now we got the end here cut off. What I'm going to do, this is basically like chenille. So I'm going to pull off some of the fibers from around the core. You can see how uh, it leaves a thread hanging, just like chenille. I don't want to take a whole lot off, just enough to expose the, the core for a little bit. Um, just about the length of this lead collar. And I'm going to tie it in by that little core. But I'm going to go down and actually tie some of the fibers here and get them tied in. Uh, and the reason why is the first couple that I did, um, I noticed that if you don't tie on these fibers, uh, it's very the tail is really loose and it could swing around uh, really far. I found that out when I was testing it in a, a water tank. Which, yes, uh, for a lot of people, I am going to try to get a water tank up. I wanted to do it last year. I just have problems with finding a a good lighting source that it shows up on camera so I am gonna work on that okay now I'm satisfied where that tail is at the next thing we're gonna do is take um, these are black regular rabbit zonker strips um, again mo um, everything but one item came from Barlow's tackle um, and I'll show you the one item that didn't but these are just regular you can get Crosscut zonker strips will work with this too. I like buying regular zonkers because I use them for a tailing material as well. And they work better at for that type of thing than crosscut. But if you're going to use these dragon tails, crosscut rabbit is probably better. It's perfect for making a body. So now we're going to take our zonker and we're going to start wrapping it. And if you use the regular zonker strips, remember to, to push the 
hair back as you're wrapping it. You're going to go about three, maybe four wraps. And then we're going to tie that in. I'll work my thread back down. Um, this might take a little longer than normal because, again, this is a new material I'm working with. I only tied a couple of these jigs up. I haven't even used it uh, out in the water yet. I just basically tank tested it. It is similar to a few other jigs I tie with Rabbit, but uh, we made some changes. For a new material, we're going to try a new type of jig here, and you guys are the first to see this. So um, Even my friends haven't seen this yet. So now I got my first part of my rabbit tied in. And like normal with zonkers, you don't want to cut square across. You just want to cut that uh, leather and then break it off. Make sure I'm tied in really good. Trap all the fibers down. Okay. Now that part of the rabbit's tied in. The next thing we're going to do is tie in these medium centipede legs. This is the only thing I didn't get from Barlow's. I got these. Uh, they're black, red, and yellow. I got them from Cabela's when I was down there a while ago. Um, and here is what the pack looks like. They come from a place called... Uh, Montana Fly Company. You can go online to any fly fishing supply place um, and they sell these. These are the medium size. If you don't want to do that, you could substitute whatever color um, skirt material that you want. You know, so, uh, you can use rubber, you can use uh, silicone, but that's basically what these are, just uh, small rubber legs. So I'm going to tie these in. I'm going to tie two on each side and I'm going to get the length that it just extends a little bit below that rabbit. I'm going to tie the two in and I'm going to go up a little bit because I'm going to fold it over and finish tying them in. Sorry about that. I got a phone call in the middle of doing this. And those two are tied in. Again, I apologize for that. And we'll snip them off. And we're going to do the other side. Same thing. Two of these little legs. Same, uh, same distance just uh, below, just below that rabbit. And I'm going to fold them over so I have four on each side. And if your rabbit's all over the place, wet your fingers and trap it down. It'll dry out real quick. Okay, trim them off and we're good to go. Now, we're going to add some flash, and this is a uh, flashable accent, black. Again, uh, the code number is 100. Um, anything black will be 100 from Barlow's website. Um, and I say that because I got everything there. Um, it's where I buy most of my supplies at, unless it's something like these... Um, legs and I happened to get them because I was down at Cabela's and saw them. So I take my flash and I fold it over. Did I have four there too? And this flash isn't going to be real uh, noticeable. It's I like uh, a little bit of flash on something like this that's dark. Not a lot. I think it's more natural if you don't have a ton of it in. And you're going to want them as, uh, again, the flash is going to be about as long as uh, these little rubber legs. If I didn't say it before, which I probably didn't, um, that phone call messed me up and I apologize. Robo call. Okay, so now we got our flash all tied in. 
and we're going to take the rabbit again. And I'm going to show you something with this rabbit too. You have two ends. You have the back end, which is like that, and then you have a front end, which has, if you take notice, you'll see uh, how the hair is uh, coming off of that piece of leather there. It extends. That's why you never want to cut it square across. So when I cut this, I'll just cut a little piece, pull it off, and it'll have that extra hair coming out the end. You tie it in from the back, the blunt side. And work our way up. And we're going to start wrapping again. And make sure you pull the fibers back if you got a regular zonker strip. If you have cross cut, the hair will lie perfect. You won't have to worry about it. And the difference between a regular zonker and a cross cut for those that uh, aren't familiar with the material is um, the way the hair goes. On a regular zonker, the hair direction is with that leather strip on a cross cut zonker the hair is actually facing down which is why you don't have to you wouldn't have to pull the the hair back when you're tying it in and we can clip our leather here and break that off and tie it in we're almost done And you want to make sure you tie that leather in real good. When this broke off, it broke off uh, kind of uh, heavy on the one part. So I got to really tie that in. Now, for the final piece, we're going to take some orange Arctic foxtail. And the foxtail is different than um, the body hair. It's longer. You can see the, the, the length here. Um, it's also a lot more expensive. It's very soft, but it, it has body to it, so it's a little stiffer than uh, the body hair. Um, this is the fluorescent orange. The number is 012 at Barlow's, but you'll get sticker shock. It's like 29 bucks for a whole tail, and they sell you a whole tail, um, not just a piece. But... A good substitute for this is fluorescent orange craft fur. And I told you this before, I like the extra select craft fur. Um, if you go to Barlow's to buy it, it's called pseudo imitation polar bear hair. If you're unsure of uh, if you got the right stuff or not, in the drop down menu, you'll see a color called orangutan rust. If you see that color, no other. Uh, Craft fur has that color except for the extra select. If you see that color, you know you got the right stuff. Uh, it's That is the highest quality craft fur I've ever used. So um, if you go there, the number would be 137, I believe, which is the fluorescent orange. That's the substitute for this if you don't want to uh, spend the money. I like having this because a, a, a tail will last me literally years. Um, a little bit goes a long way. So we're going to take this uh, foxtail and we're going to trim it and tie it in rather than continue to talk. And we want to work it all the way around. Basically what we're doing is making a collar out of this. You can see from it being so fluffy it likes to move around a little bit on you so it, it's hard to get perfectly placed but if you work with it um, 
it shouldn't be an issue. Now I'm going to do the other side and I'm going to take another tuft of this orange foxtail and you want it to go down about uh, the length of the rabbit hair that you uh, on your last wrap don't worry if you get any sparse spots um, you don't want it real thick you don't want a, a real heavy it's just basically an accent color is what it's there for um, but I like this material because it does flow really nice And we're going to start tying this down. Yeah, that's um, one of the things with this material. Again, it, it is expensive, but if you do a lot, even with me, I do a lot of tying, and uh, I literally have it for a long time. Um, a piece will last me two, three years, and that's using it a good bit. I use this material. Um, I also use the body hair a good bit. I have to trim some long pieces that I got trapped in there. Apologize for that. And we're basically done, except for whip finishing and our head cement. Cinch. Cinch. Trim that off. Get our Sally Hansons here. And I'll take it out and show you what we have. We'll get the old forceps out here so you can get a look without my fingers in the way. There it is. I call out my Smalley Dragon now. Um, this Dragon Tail, um, when I get, this will be one of the first ones when I get a, a tank set up, but you ought to see this thing in the water. I can't wait to try it out. Uh, fishing wise but I think it's going to be a killer these dragon tails I'm really liking this um, I know I'm going to get some of the six inchers as well uh, for larger jigs but for now these uh, four inch micros absolutely killer uh, they'll take the place of rabbit any day of the week a lot stronger and um, you could put these on a light head because I noticed um they absorb water, so they gain some weight, but the action still stays good. Uh, anyway, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.